What's going on? Today we're going to take a look at my journey to rank 24 this season, season 8 of Go Battle League. And it all started at 2901 ELO in my live stream, so have fun with this video. I want to do something with Shadow Beedrill in the lead actually. Beedrill. Okay. What do you put in the back then? Hmm. So I want like a dark type in the back. How about Willoughby? Guno, Mandy. Hello. This looks like a solid team to me. And it was a very solid team indeed. This team went 5 and 0 on stream with us, and like it was so much fun to play with this team. And we had like so many cool plays in general, like this catch here on the with the earth power. We had played like so perfectly on stream. And this pushed us up so so much that we were so close into range for all legend already. But it was the last set which we played, so there was nothing really we could do at this day, and we had, had to come back later on the day. But we had so much fun playing this team and had so many cool wins with this. And yeah, we came back against so many bad leads in general, and it was so much fun here from my opponent. Such a good catch there. But we have still our Willoughby in the back, and our Willoughby does not care at all. It was so funny to play with the thing in general. You can just all go for the brave roots all over the place, and like I just love winning games with some beams. So having Willoughby getting me to legend today was like is so much fun. And here we're just gonna kill the Searchy's energy. She <laughs> has a save lie in the back and save lie against the Beedrill. And a full health of many of us have fun with that. Gonna be a good game there as well. It was just such a blast to play this team. We had crazy comebacks and it was just so amazing to play that thing on stream. But yeah, here we have like an uh, employer need against us, but we can come back and my opponent actually goes into a weekly battle against a mandibus. A very interesting play. We can go for two aerial aces here. And my opponent just gonna let this go. And we're in such a decent spot goes for the leaf blade. We can just farm all the way down. Actually can get some damage on the incoming Emporion again. Judging by that, I think he has another grass tap in the back. And we can actually get to two more fall plays here. That was like such a nice game there in general. We can go into our Willoughby farm him down. Let's see what he has in the back there. It's going to be a Tropius as expected. Rather than that, if we can go for the Brave Bird. And we had such a blast here. And goodbye. <laughs> it's just like so much fun to play with this team. And we had like so many close games, which brought us then back up to the Edo we wanted to be. Here I got certain go and farm down. We had one HP then that will be left in the final game. Going 5 0. Gonna be able to claim the set now and gonna go 25 points away. No, next day I played immediately after midnight because we had GoFest. It was the first day of GoFest there and I was scared about the Leggy server. First um, set of the day I went 2 and 3 because I lost two games. One with lag and one because I was like stupid and made a wrong play. So I, that would have been already enough to get me to a legend. But here we go on this to the second set. First opponent we face gonna be Cindy, like King's girlfriend. And she played a team that was very familiar to me because I know who made a video about this. It was a well of us team with double fighting. And she played that insanely good. Like if she played that a bit differently, I would have easily won this game because my team is actually good against it. But she played it insanely good. Like nothing I could do here. Like I just want to showcase that because it was like really perfectly played from her. We can go for the I should have baited here actually. I said yeah, I should have definitely baited here. Which I think didn't matter in the end, but it would have been nice. And here we have to shield now. That's all will be. I expect like a uh, surf edge in the back. And we're gonna be able to KO this thing most likely. But the surf edge is still gonna be hurting me kinda crazy. And yeah, we're gonna go for the foul play here. I'm gonna try to get the last shield. We're gonna get the last shield and she farmed me all the way down like has no fear that I get to another move or anything like this. No, she's a double move and Luka won this game. I was like, oh no, that was the first game of the second set. And I was okay, now it's going all downhill. I already had like a negative set in the first set of the day. I'm definitely not gonna get it this night. He has like the second battle I had with this team. We have actually had like cast one against us in the lead, which was interesting. Actually, we can go for one extra and then farm down if you let it go, which is cool. 
And that's also what I'm gonna do. We have to shield once, but then we have like so much energy that we're most likely gonna get some shields back anyway. We can farm all the way down without any problem. And my opponent goes into goes into a frostless, and this does not look good at all because we have to. I think I have to let this go. Yeah, uh, we just have to go. Hope that he stays in here against our mandibus and maybe double shield because we already have a drill run stored. But other than that, like we have no chance at all. Like Frostless is such a good core breaker for us team in general. Like I have nothing really for the ice types. So here we at least we get both shield there. We have the drill run stored. Can we get to the drill run in time? We have to press it. Are we gonna get there? Does my opponent throw his charge move already? He does, and that is pretty good. I don't know why I shield here actually. I shouldn't have. I was, ah, okay, it's superior. I was scared of a charmer, I think, but even if it's a charmer, I think Willoughby would have been able to handle it. But my opponent goes into the superior, goes for the frenzy plant. Reek's just gonna go straight for the brave bird here, but my opponent actually gets to another move in time. And the brave bird comes through now, and Willoughby gonna save the day again here. I'm gonna be able to farm down the frosters as well, and that's gonna be a good game. With a 1 HP and a dream. Next up, are we gonna have Machamp? Against us is still the second set. Goes into a hypno, and this is just like how this team should work. It's like perfectly fine matchup here. Like, I don't think my opponent can come back from this now because we're like already so ahead. We know his first lead, and we have like all Pokemon like good against Machamp, and we all have our mana bus locked against the Psychic type, which we can just farm down. It looks like so good right now, and you can just farm all the way down. Gonna be, he goes into the Reggie Steel, and here it's gonna be tricky again. Reggie Steel is really good against this team, other than when you get maybe the alignment with the B drill or something. But other than that, like, Reggie Steel is such a good, a good Pokemon. My opponent goes into the Machamp. I go into the wrong Pokemon, actually, I think. Should have went to the Wallaby. But here we're just gonna go straight for uh, the Excessor. It's actually a decent matchup still. But we still have to hope that our Wallaby can handle the Reggie Steel in the back or something. Does my opponent go for a shield here? He does. Can we farm him down? I, I'm kind of scared. Okay, I think we can... F I let this go, it's a rock slide. Okay, that was actually a smart play for me because now I have like a shield for the Willoughby and I know half of my Reggie Steel should be able with Willoughby to KO him here when we have a shield. But also like I thought of going for the Brave Bird here just for the meme. But then I thought, okay, if I don't get this right here, I'm gonna be dead for like one flash cannon, so I cannot really risk it. So I'm gonna go for the safe play, going for two foul plays, and that's gonna be it for this game. We went three and two in the second set we had, and now we're gonna go into the fifth set. First opponent, we're gonna see Goldbet here against us. Really a bad league for us. We're gonna swap out, and the opponent gives me a free one. I'm actually gonna take that. I don't ever had anything like this before I had like Legend or anything. Like I never got any free ones. I know that other people got that, but like I did never needed that. And most of the time I get Legend really early. So most of the time people actually like try hard their ass off anyway against me. But thanks for the free one there. So we already only need like, we're at 29,000, no, 2,977. And so we need 23 more points to hit Legend at this point of time. My opponent goes into Frost, I see, but we have so much energy stored already that we're going to be able to flip this matchup most likely in two shields, which is pretty, pretty decent. And yeah, we just need like at least three more wins, I think. Three more wins out of the... Maybe even like a 3-2 would be enough at this point of time, depending on how high the opponents are you pl play. So here we actually let this one go because we have one move stored and we just believe in the Willoughby at this point of time. Willoughby has to handle it, goes into the goal, but again, we can let the first one go, because it does not matter at all, like, the first one does, like, nothing, he has to go for the right move there, and maybe I could have went for the foul play as well, but I'm just gonna go and shield up, and go for the brave bird here, and I should be able to win, even if, like, my opponent gets to a move with the frostless, I should be able, and, yeah, that's gonna be it for this game. Next up, the third game of the set, we're gonna have Beedrill against Wishcast. Really bad lead, really, really bad lead. I wanna try here is try to catch a move on my bird, but didn't really work out. So I have to shield the blizzard now, which is of course perfect, but at least we have like one move stored here already. And we can go for the foul play at this point of time, and my opponent just like stays in there. We know that we're gonna take a blizzard from the thing kinda easily. So we won't shield this one here. 
as it's just not worth it. I know that my opponent not gonna shield anyway, so I just overfarm here. We had two moves already, and maybe we can farm down and give us like a good advantage here, but I think we couldn't. My opponent goes into Frostless, and this is pretty nice because we found up so much energy now that we can get so many shields here. Maybe we even two shields from my opponent. And we already have like energy on our B drill. Okay, we don't get the shield, but we can go for the Exorcist here, and maybe my opponent gives me the shield now. As he gonna survive that just barely. I think I'm gonna shield, I'm gonna shield here as well. He goes to the avalanche, I can farm down to the that point of time. My opponent goes into the wish cast again, I think. Yeah, he does go into the wish cast. We only do uh, not our effect of damage there with our poison jabs, but we can farm down. But he goes into the Ferrothorn here, and now I have to see what moveset he has. Does he run like the mirror shot or does he run something else? If it's mirror shot, we can get to another move here. If not, it's gonna be difficult. It's, he goes for the power whip, so he most likely runs mirror shot or something like that. So we can go for the exorcist. We can switch into our Willoughby and farm him all the way down. And he just surrenders at this point of time. Willoughby was just too strong for him. We're gonna go into the next game here against the Beedrill. Go into the mirror. And we just have to swap. Ah, we try to swap onto the move because we have two good ends in the back. But what we actually do here is bait out the Empoleon. And this is so important for our team because we have nothing else other than like this mana bus to deal with Empoleon anyway. We can let the first one go. And I think we can just calm down after if one more hits here, which is going to be like so important for the game plan later on. And I think we can just farm all the way down with Snarls. And we're going to be able to. We have a move stored. And we're just gonna click onto the follow play. My opponent goes to dig us beer. I thought, okay, this must be a dial. It has nothing. No way we can lose as it, right? Like, seriously. DSB can't do anything against Willoughby either. So we're gonna be able to go into our Willoughby. My opponent swaps into the B drill. I tried to swap out there. And I actually gonna shield here because it's gonna do more damage than anything the be at the Digger's be gonna do. So here we're just gonna go for the Exeter and my opponent shields as well. I ain't gonna let this go. It's gonna be a drill one, and we can go into Wallaby and farm all the way down. Can we go for like, uh, can we go for a bird? I don't know if I went for the bird, actually. I'm gonna go for the full play here right now, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be really, really close. Here we're gonna go for another foul play and I think now we're gonna be able to win. I was super scared of my opponent having a Hyper Beam at this point of time because Hyper Beam is really viable as well. In the meta right now, he goes for a Fire Punch, he goes for another move immediately. Yeah, this does basically say that he does not have a Hyper Beam anyway and we're gonna be able to just farm all the way down. This is gonna be a good game there and we are already 4 0 in this set so we're definitely gonna hit Legend but now let's go into the last game of the set. Going to into the Nido Queen here. We're gonna be able to farm all the way down into the. Oh, he goes straight to the poison effect. I don't know why you do that. Like, I don't have to shield here. That's resisted. I can go for the drill run. I should have baited, I think, because, like, if he stays in, there's no way he does not. Let the, yeah, yeah, I should have baited here. I'm gonna swap onto the poison thing onto my mana bus, which is, of course, not the best, but it's like. It's, it's also not the worst. Actually, Poison Fang might be even a better play. I think you always win the two shields than if you go straight Poison Fang and gets the beat roll. My opponent goes into Obstagoon right now, which is a good play. Like, definitely a good play. We're gonna go for uh, some aerial aces here, and it's it's not looking too good for us. I expect like something like Drapion or something in the back, but he's just gonna farm us all the way down. I go into the Wallaby because I expect him to go maybe for the, the Night Slash here and we're gonna resist that, which is really nice. Goes for another move. And in this one, I think we can f swap out maybe and go for the Exorcist here. Maybe I should have went for the full farm down because then my opponent would be shieldless. He goes now into the Needle Queen. We're gonna go for another move here, which is gonna be the Exorcist. And he actually shields, which is good for us. Now we have to go for the Foul Play and the Pins what he has in the back. We have to shield something here. Maybe I shouldn't shield the first one. And we're gonna be able to get to the foul play actually in time. What do you have in the back? It's gonna be a Drapion. And I actually, I, uh, can we actually win this? It's gonna be so close. Because of the defense drop, this is, might be not able. Like, can we go to the, oh, we need one more move for the Brave Bird. Goes for the Aquate, we survive and we barely miss out by one turn. But it's still a 4 1. We're gonna be able to claim our reward here. This is gonna be it for this video. We hit Legend with this beautiful team. Like, I have no idea how we actually hit Legend with that, but it worked out perfectly fine. And yeah, we just not be able to catch us in Machoke, but it's fine. 
I don't know why this like uh, yeah Machoke just had like no fun at all today. So he's just gonna gonna not stay in the ball, but I think that's gonna be it. And yeah, we're gonna claim the road. Thanks all for watching today and I see you in the next video. Thanks all for supporting me in this journey and here. Yeah, thanks a lot.